Hey guys, so I wanted to show you the new changes I made to my quad. So I put a pre-filter on the CVT intake. It's uh, a big pre-filter, so it has a lot of room uh, for the air, air passes through. If you keep it too tight, it will reduce the surface area of it and you can risk having uh, little airflow going in so this is supposed to let the CVT uh, run cool and prolong its life and the clutch components because all of the dust is going to be kept out um, for the air filter uh, here is the box this is the intake, there you can see the, the air filter itself with a pre-filter on it from factory. Uh, here it usually goes an adapter that blocks everything from here, but it sucks every, uh, all the air from this area. So what I've done, I've glued some velcro around it and I've bought a piece of Outerwear's pre-filters and I've made one for this air intake. The, I can show you the back, how it turned out. I cut it to the size. I sewed all around it. It's a double sew so it's strong. And basically how this works, it's just you put it in there like a regular filter and it stays in there and it's ready to go you can barely see the air intake but what we what this will do it will keep all the snow out <laughs> sorry it will keep all the snow out all the rain out all the water mud whatever I'm going to cut the video and show you a little water test so I can show you what I mean so now I'm going to show you the water test. It's still wet, I already tried it once. I'm going to show you again. Water is running. Do you see it? No water goes through. But the air goes through without any problems. So, like you could see, no water gets, gets past this fabric it's really good so it is going to keep all the water snow mud debris whatever outside of the airbox which is going to solve a major problem for everyone that has the Sportman 1000 and the 850s because the standard system from factory lets all the debris inside the airbox expecting for the filter to work afterwards in my view this is the best system because it keeps all the debris out, it does not reduce the airflow and it's going to go, do a really good job because afterwards you still have the factory filter inside perfect and it's going to last way longer. Um, I do recommend changing the oil often in these machines because they are off-road, they work in a really tough environment and if you want to it, if you want it to be reliable you know I think it's a, a really good uh, thing to do because really tiny particles of dust and debris and whatever are going to to get into the system into the intake into the cylinders they are going to wear the piston rings the cylinder walls and what that is going to cause is a lot of wear and the quality of the oil itself it's going to suffer okay because even the the, the gasoline from the combustion chamber is going to get little amounts into the oil and it's going to reduce the quality of the oil so my recommendation is even with all of these precautions ch change the oil about every 25 to 50 hours maximum that's my recommendation that's what i do 
and I this is my third Polaris machine I never had an issue with any of them so tell me what you think about this mod that I've done and try it for yourself on your machine if you think it's worth it and tell me how it worked out for you I will give feedback as soon as I can I can I can't still ride it ride the machine because I'm waiting on the license plate but as soon as I can I will give feedback okay bye bye thanks for watching happy riding